Welcome back to the channel. We are currently in the middle of a business class experience called executive class for this airline on TAP Portugal traveling from Milan, Italy to Chicago. If you haven't already seen the first part of our journey on TAP's European executive class, you can check out that video in the link in the description down below. We traveled from Milan to Lisbon, enjoying the business class lounge and service on the way in the TAP Airbus A320 and Embraer E190 products and we're currently sitting at Lisbon's Umberto Delgado Airport, ready to continue our journey across the Atlantic. We made our way into the atrium of the airport, which is a very large and airy space. We walked up the escalator, hoping to get to the TAP Portugal Premium Lounge. This is the lounge that's usually available to business class guests. However, things were not as they seemed today. So we made it to Lisbon, first flight went great, but the TAP Premium Lounge is closed. And so we knew this only because Catherine happened to be looking up the TAP Lounge and saw that it was closed, which is, which is kind of unacceptable. Plus, you don't get any lounge access with any other lounges. We did get um, a, a voucher, um, which we can use in here before passport control, doesn't work after passport control. Um, so we're going to see what we can get with this, but, um, you know, it is it is what it is, but we don't get lounge access with business class, paying for business class on TAP Portugal. And also the voucher, taking a closer look at it, is only worth 10 euros. So not quite the same as offering lounge access. So it is what it is. With our vouchers in hand, we headed to the only place that we could really get something to eat before going through passport control. Starbucks. How do you like your how do you like your lounge experience? Lovely. I could sit here for hours. <laughs> nice and quiet out of the hubbub, right? Yeah. Starbucks. There is another lounge in this airport that you can get access to, which is the A&A Lounge, located directly next to the TAP Premium Lounge. Unfortunately, with our vouchers, we could not get access. Luckily, we also had a priority pass, so we just used that to get in. The A&A Lounge is actually quite large and has several amenities. There's plenty of seating with huge television screens. There's also two counters with food and drinks, as well as a nearly full-service bar and bakery area. There were also several quiet areas that you could escape to, including these small sleeping pods, as well as paid shower access. Overall, this was not a bad place to spend an hour or two, but the fact that we had to use our own priority pass or pay to access this with a business class ticket was just unacceptable to us. TAP should really have offered something else instead of just a 10 euro voucher. After spending time in the lounge, we made our way through the airport to our gate. Boarding started right on time, and as we made our way down the jet bridge, we saw the beautiful A330 for the first time. We made our way into our lie flat seats and were immediately impressed by this cabin. It looked and smelled clean and new. In fact, there was even some packaging materials still left in the seats next to the windows, showing just how new this product was. It seemed like it was fresh off the production line. The IFE screens were very large, and we found tons of storage next to the seat. The footwell was also quite deep, which was nice when sitting, but we did find that it was a bit narrow when the seat was in the lie-flat position. One thing that's really nice about these seats is that the armrests can be folded out of the way when sleeping, giving you much more room to get comfortable. There were plenty of power sockets next to the seat, including a universal plug, two USBs, and the headphone jack. TAP, of course, provided these quality headphones for the duration of the flight. As far as in-flight entertainment went, it was really nice. The screen was huge, and the remote was very easy to use and extremely responsive. The remote did sit behind the headrest, so it was a bit annoying to have to reach back and grab the remote each time you wanted to change the channel, but the TV screens were also touchscreen, so we mostly used that functionality. The layout of the IFE is extremely easy to use, and there are a few different ways that you could access all of the movie and TV show menus. There were also screens showcasing the various foods and wines that were available on the flight, as well as directions for how to use the Wi-Fi, which was available for the duration. The in-flight map was also very nice, and offered some information on some of TAP's more visited destinations. 
There's also a kids map available, which is more or less the same as the regular map, but it had some fun animal graphics that you could play around with. For this flight, we were also given an amenity kit, which contained some socks, moisturizer, a pen, a blindfold, earplugs, and a dental kit. It wasn't over the top or extremely luxury, but it had everything we would need for the flight. We pushed back from the gate in Lisbon right on time and started our ascent over the Atlantic. It wasn't too long before we received the menu for tonight's dinner, which included a starter with either a veal and carrot, steamed sea bass, or mushroom pasta main. We both selected the veal and carrot main. It was only about 45 minutes after takeoff when the crew brought around some hot towels and some warm mixed nuts, which is always a treat. Before long, we received our meal, which was honestly a lot of food. The cottage cheese and fruit appetizer was very light and refreshing, and the veal was extremely tender. Looking at it, I didn't think I'd like the carrot puree, but it was very light, creamy, and delicious, and the flavor paired very well with the veal. As we finished our meals, we enjoyed a glass of port wine while we waited for our desserts. Dessert today was a cup of roasted coffee and the dessert trilogy of cold chocolate mousse, fruit soup, and regional cheeses. After that meal, it was definitely easy to get some sleep. We were greeted with a light meal before landing, which was a well-presented plate of fresh fruit, meats, cheeses, and cherry tomatoes, along with another much-needed cup of coffee. Before we knew it, we descended into Chicago and made our way through the terminal to pick up our bags and be on our way. Now this was a round trip flight, so after spending some time in the States, it was time to return back to Lisbon once again on TAP. In the Chicago O'Hare airport, there is a premium check-in desk, which had a much shorter line than we experienced in Milan. You also get access to fast track security. We made our way through the extremely dated Terminal 5 to the SAS lounge. With a business class TAP Portugal ticket, this is the only lounge that you can access. Unfortunately, this lounge is extremely small, and it plays host to several other airlines' premium passengers. There was some food offered, but it was underwhelming. From the lounge, you do get a great view of the apron, and it was from here that we saw our beautiful TAP Portugal A330 arrive at the gate directly next to the lounge. Unfortunately, this is where the lounge experience ended. So just got kicked out of the lounge. Um, because it's an SAS lounge and apparently they close it with the last SAS flight even though they are a partner lounge for about 25 other airlines so there's other airlines here um, but we all got kicked out still a little bit uh, upsetting to get kicked out of a lounge when you have business class access so for the return flight we got window seats to enjoy a bit of the views the next day and see if these seats are any different than the two middle seats of this one to one layout the seat was just as comfortable as the middle seats and to be honest it was kind of nice to be able to spread out into the window wells it did feel like you had a little bit more space here than in the middle seats about 30 minutes behind schedule we pushed back and made the long taxi out to the runway as we lifted off and soared over the beautiful Chicago lakefront, we were handed a hot towel and the menu for tonight's dinner. Tonight, we would get a halibut and vegetable ceviche starter with a choice between a beef filet, cod, and spinach ravioli main. Of course, I went for the beef filet. This time, the presentation was a bit more underwhelming, but the flavor was still there. Once again, we got a dessert trio of chocolate ice cream, cheese, and a fruit cup, along with a wonderfully delicious glass of port wine. After getting a few hours of sleep, it was time for breakfast. Unfortunately, our sleep was cut a bit short on this flight. While the flight from Europe allowed us to get several hours of sleep given the nearly 9 hour flight time, prevailing winds cut our flight down to less than 7 hours on a return trip. To be honest, this is a little bit short to actually enjoy everything that a business class product like this has to offer. After all, getting a decent night's sleep is one of the main reasons why we want to fly business class. Anyway, the breakfast was quite good, 
Since we just had dinner a few hours before, it was nice to get a lighter serving of fruits and some light meats and cheeses, along with a small breakfast empanada. As we make our descent to land on this rainy morning in Lisbon, let's reflect on what we thought of the Tap Portugal Transatlantic Executive Class product. First, we'll talk about the lounges. To be honest, we were extremely disappointed in the lounge offering. For our flight out of Lisbon, we didn't get any lounge access, and since we had to use our own priority pass to get into the a and lounge, we can't use it to rate this airline. On the return trip, the SAS lounge was also disappointing. If we forget about the fact that we were kicked out early, the food and drink offerings here were quite poor, and the lounge itself was way too small for all of the partner airlines that use it. The only thing that was good about this lounge was that there's a view of the apron. For lounges, we have to rate Tap Portugal a 1 out of 5. As a caveat to this rating though, we have heard some good things about the Tap Premium Lounge in Lisbon. So if you're lucky enough to get access, and not have it be under construction when you fly, you might actually have a good lounge experience. Next, let's talk about the seats. The seats are very nice. We got to experience both the two seats together in the middle, as well as the window seats. Both were spacious and the IFE system worked well. There's plenty of movie and TV show offerings as well as tons of music to listen to. The folding armrests also make sleeping a lot easier. The footwell is a bit narrow, but as side sleepers this was not a problem for us. There's also plenty of storage and plenty of power in these seats. We rate these a 5 out of 5. Now let's talk about the food. We were extremely impressed by the food on these flights. This includes both our long and short haul European business class flight. The food that was offered was extremely flavorful, and it felt like all of the choices gave us a taste of Portugal. While the presentation of the beef filet meal could have used some work, it was still delicious. The flight attendants were also extremely knowledgeable about the dishes they were serving, and made some great wine recommendations. And of course, the port wine was always an amazing dessert. 5 out of 5 here. Now let's talk about the service. We have no complaints here. All of the flight attendants were great, and extremely pleasant. They were all very attentive, and on all of our flights they made us feel important. If we could give them a higher rating than 5, we would. 5 out of 5. So now we can talk about the value for money. We booked our flights as a round trip from Milan to Chicago through Lisbon. In total, including all four legs of these round trip flights, it cost $1,598 per person. Considering that a similar flight directly from Munich to Chicago in economy would have cost around $1,000 at the same time, this wasn't too bad. We got the business class experience with only a little additional cost. We had a great experience flying TAP Portugal. We've heard a lot of videos and reviews talking about TAP just being a holiday airline, and that they don't really offer a real premium service. After flying on some other premium European airlines, like British Airways and Lufthansa, we have to disagree. While we were disappointed with the lounges on this trip, the rest of the experience was amazing, and the service honestly exceeded some of these other quote-unquote premium European airlines. TAP is offering a competitive service now, at a competitive and generally cheaper price in the European market. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one!